And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Finks. We're going to be getting elusive and aggressive for this one. So we got some early one drops with Legion Saboteur, Precious Pet to go along with Fizz. But we're going to be trying to finish the game with our elusive. So we have Fizz as elusive, Golden Narwhal elusive, and then Sprayfin and Slippery Wave Rider. So that's going to be important. Um, but then we're also going to have other just regular good attackers with Legion, Grenadier, and, and Draven. And some good spells to, to uh, supplement them. All right, so the reason why we're playing these two together is because Draven, uh, whenever you play it or strike, of course, it creates those spinning axes, zero mana spells. And Fizz loves having zero mana spells. You got to cast spells to level up Fizz, but of course, you can use your, your zero mana spells to help protect Fizz. So it's a cool combination uh, with that. But we're not going like all in with the Fizz of playing just all sorts of spells and stuff. We're going to try to make it just a pretty good Bilgewater Noxus deck even like if we don't have fizz that's why we're going with like legion saboteur precious pet uh legion grenadier all that kind of stuff um and uh and then yeah you know like we'll have our our spells like so brother's bond is not usually a spell i like too much but in this deck it's important to have burst spells to protect fizz so it does that and plus if we have some elusives with you know fizz or sprayfin or Wave Rider, or Gold, Golden Narwhal, we can basically turn Brother's Bond into Decimate. It can be two mana Decimate. Um, you can you can think of it like that. If you have two unblocked attackers, just cast it, get it, get the four damage in, turn it into Decimate. Don't don't try to like, you know, try to get too much more value out of it or anything. That's going to be the goal with Brother's Bond. All right, let's let's give this a try. So this should be some some fast games going to be aggressive with some elusive. It's been a while since we've played an elusive heavy deck. There is Hush in the metagame. We're going to try to uh, overwhelm them. Yeah, so the yeah the second pack of Targon's coming in 11 days. Um, so the, yeah, the the 14th, and it will be it will be three regions. So one of them will be one of them will be Targon, and then for the other two regions, you're going to have some combination of Two of Demacia, Noxus, Bilgewater, and Piltover and Zon. So two of those. I'm kind of guessing the Piltover and Zon with like the Hibernator that was in the that little short trailer with the memorials. Maokai Hecarim. That seems pretty cool. We're gonna get rid of the Fervor. I like Fizz into Make It Rain, and Wave Rider is just amazing. So I kind of want to just keep Wave Rider. But Wave Rider is our top end, so maybe I should mulligan it. Oh, Warden's Prey. Such a good Fizz blocker. Yeah, the ones that didn't get their epics and champions and stuff, they'll get their final ones, yep. Okay. So I will block Warden's Prey if Warden's Prey attacks. I will not block any of those. Only those attack. Alright, I'm going to pass turn here. Expecting them to play something. And they, they play something, then I make a rain, then I attack. The chains, they never stop. Cool. Rewarded. What is this? I don't like this. Put the, yeah, put that back in your hand. I don't, whatever that is, I don't like it. Could be, you know, like it could be like a vile feast or something to kill Fizz, and I, I don't want to see that. Yeti yearling. Uh. I don't even want them to block with Yeti yearling because if whenever it dies, they put two one mana five fives in their deck. I don't want them to draw a one mana five five. We got our, our elusive fizz. Now we'll start playing some more elusives. Everyone's oh no. A god. Oh no. Oh no. All right. These are gone. Sorry, y'all. So basically, I could I could play the spray fin, and I'm then, or you know, I could. Now we're just. I'm sorry, Fizz. You're just gonna go. We're just gonna keep the spray fin that always is elusive, and have wave riders that are always elusive. Ooh, 
Brothers Bond. All right, here you go, Boot. <laughs> yeah, we were supposed to be the aggressive deck. Here we go. We're going to be the, the aggressive deck now. We got our two elusives. We'll attack for six. Let's go Brothers Bond. Give him plus two, plus zero. Make it ten. That's a permanent buff. Those, those buffs will stay on. Now, now we race in. They're at six. Um. Let's do another one of these. Tough call of like whether to just play like the Draven this turn as like a blocker. Oh, that could be tough. Yeah, cause that levels up. Okay, that this can be a problem. Well. All right, so we block those two. We go to negative five. Uh oh, because that's ten. Oh, because that yeah, the Hecarim's not dying. Oh no. We live here. No, go to one. All right, figured it out. Down to one. Alright, so I'm worried about Vile Feast and them healing their Nexus for one if I just go to attacks. So I'm going to be playing Draven, the Golden Narwhal. So we'll have eight elusive damage. And then also the Draven will give us the Spinning Axe, so we can make it nine. And then we can also have Transfusion, so we can make it eleven. Alright, GG's! Raven Fizz with the win, and Kitty Dexterity with the cheers. All right, we're gonna be doing another race here, Misfortune and Gangplank up next. Uh, yeah, so we'll have Fizz into Golden Narwhal into Draven. Most likely, our Fizz is just gonna trade with their one drop. I don't think. Oh, I can just go Saboteur. All right, cool. We'll just play this on turn one. No one's the wiser. Yeah, it's a better turn one play. Awesome. So we got a point of damage in. Still traded. We can have Fizz for like a, a surprise elusive later. All right, good card. So depending on what they do, they play a two-two. I'll play a two-three. Alright, the party has arrived. War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. Watch and learn. So we'll get us a second spinning axe. Good for Fizz. Clear it out. 
think we keep the Golden Narwhal alive with the Transfusion. Sure about that? Those can just trade. But we'll keep that alive. Mm. Alright, so the Make It Rain just keeps their demolitions alive. Not done yet. That puts my Draven down to dangerously low. Keep up, keep up. Pick a car, that could be good. Coming in hot! <laughs> So if I attack with Draven, they block with Legion Grenadier, which gives their Gangplank right up. three out of five. It's still worth it, getting Legion Grenadier out of here and, and us drawing a Spinning Axe. That's worth it. Because I don't have good blockers much at all. We need to kill them next turn, so we're going to need to use Brother's Bond and Playful Trickster and stuff to kill them next turn. So just hopefully don't take 16 oh damage this turn. Ouch. Scout's hurt. Alright, Precious Pet will just be a blocker. Bless is motion. Love ya. Yeah, that hurt. That was a good... Good card for them. You don't see too many people playing Island Navigator, but that was a great Island Navigator. Anything else? No, I, I like saving the Brothers. We didn't need to Brothers Bond right there. I like playing the, the Fizz there, where... Um, you know, maybe they think that their life total is a little higher than what it is. Like, the Brothers Bond wasn't going to kill them. Can I go to six? They're probably not going to have six points of burn, are they? I mean, it's definitely possible, but hopefully not. Okay. A lot of ways for me to go with this. I don't know what's the safest what way. For? I think the safest thing is going with this trickster. We can still use fervor later. I mean, I think that getting another attack with the fizz is probably the most valuable thing. And now we'll we'll just play Legion Saboteur afterwards, also. Especially how we're creating the spinning axe. Very unlikely that these two cards kill us. They have to be, they would have to be, I mean, I don't even know what they can be. Six damage? I mean, they have to be like double Noxion Fervor. We got to level up Fizz! Yeah! <laughs> Blue minion! There we go, GG's! Because even if they'd have something to target the Fizz, we still have the fervor to protect Fizz. And one with Fizz! Let's do it now! <laughs> yeah, that minion's cool. Me. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. 
Yeah, Draven Fizz is doing good so far. We're 2 and 0. Oh. Playing against Bilgewater, PNZ, Twisted Fate, Nautilus. Looks like we got some Discard Deep. It's a cool deck. Um, Elusives are good for that matchup, so I kind of want to keep the Wave Rider. Well, if we mulligan the Fizz. I'll just mulligan Wave Rider. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be, though. Wave Rider is pretty awesome. Okay, don't need to play the Saboteur into the dredge dredgers. We'll play Grenadier though. Who's gonna get in my way? Ouch. Wow. That was a great mega rain. Ouch. Well, good news is we're still still four and four, right? Like, so we're we have the same number of cards. Wow. So the coral creatures made a jury rig because we could see where it, where it went. So it made a jury rig, and then they got to discard the jury rig and get a new card. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Timing is everything. It is. Gotta go with the flow. Okay, our own make it rain. They discarded a whole bunch of Toss stuff, the Dredgers and the Jettison. Let's do this. And if I attack with Legion Grenade here, they'll block with Jury Rig. With me having to make it rain and also kind of the Transfusion, right? Like, so I want the, the second health here with the Transfusion. I think both those combinations mean that attacking isn't desirable. So we've cast no spells yet, but Fizz is almost leveled up. Only needs six more spells. I need more so almost leveled up. Yep, yep, yep. So Fizz is important here. So if if their plans make it rain, which it probably is, all we need is Fizz to be one of the targets, and then we can cast a spell and cancel out and just uh, you know deny the make it rain. Death doesn't scare me. So let's make this block. So now it will definitely, you know, Fizz will definitely be a target. I guess Twisted Fate is a problem, though. Darn. Twisted Fate red card. Attacks in. I don't know, maybe that wasn't worth it. Yeah, maybe that wasn't worth it. Well, Precious can still get blocked by Abyssal Eye. I could, I mean, I could definitely attack it to just Powder Keg if I want. Um. You're boring. Yeah, so I basically just use that to do two damage if I just kill Keg. 
Alright, maybe that wasn't worth it to spend that spell to deal two damage. Because then I realized, so I was planning on just attacking with everything, but then I realized that Not we need... Today, uh, we need Twisted Fate here to stop Mega Rain. Down, That's what I was down. thinking. All right, another decimate. Not another decimate. Turns out casting everything for free is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I, I, that was a, yeah, that was a very bad play by me. With using the fizz whenever I use the fizz. I don't know, just all of our, um, all the good momentum that we had going left. All right, mulligan in our hand. Precious pet should be pretty good. That that should be able to do two damage on turn two unless they have, I guess unless I play golden narwhal if I don't, because they're gonna have like the sun, the uh, the sun cards, or daybreak cards. <laughs> Bless the faithful and see the <clears throat> so they gotta play a daybreak card on this turn. Devotion to battle. Like so, I could attack right away, and then it gets through. But Golden Narwhal would get through anyway. So we'll just go Golden Narwhal. Double Brothers Bond. We're going to need some more units now. we got plenty of spells. We need to get some units and hopefully turn these Brothers Bonds into Decimates. My shield is yours! So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be attacking with Precious Pet, trading with the 3-2, or not. Um, with having all of these other spells, does make it less desirable to make that trade right away. We have another Bright Seal Protector. I've got your back. Hmm. Huh. That's pretty decent. Follow the horizon. Man, I lost all momentum whenever we accidentally whenever I accidentally queued at the wrong deck. After that second game, and I got nothing going on. All right, so you know, play Draven. We go Grenadier plus pick a card, um, but we'll get Draven going and trying to get these spinning axes and stuff like that. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Got axes, need victims. <sighs> Just like honey thresher geese. So 
think we're going to be putting one Brothers Bond ahead. back with the pick a card. We'll cast the other one here. And just kill Quinn. We don't have any kind of overwhelm in our deck, do we? Don't think so. Like a fish in water. <laughs> so I don't think... or So I'm pretty sure that no, Golden Narwhal is going to be better than Saboteur. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Yeah, I think so. So put him down to ten. How you doing? With me having double noxion fervor and a wave rider still. No mercy for heretics. Could be good. A little. I don't know why, but I'm a little worried of like fight spells if I go with the spinning axe. But maybe I shouldn't be. Alright, so how this is going to work, they're going to attack with the two scouts, challenge my two elusives. I Noxion Fervor, the Golden Narwhal, and kill the Genevieve Elmhar. Then they have all this stuff, then they can uh, challenge. Basically, I have to I have to play this. So no, we'd, we'd be dead. If they'd have four uh, or five things still, and I'd only have two blockers. So they're going to have five things and I have three blockers. I'm still dead. Uh, so I have to just kill like these four threes and three twos and stuff like that. No, I can't fervor Jenny and stay alive. I might as well just do it like this. So no, can't cannot fervor Gen Genevieve Elmhart and stay alive. Well, I mean, I guess I, guess I could have just fervor Genevieve Elmhart right there instead of a 4-3 with, with the Slippery Wave Rider. I was thinking with, with a 2-3. But still, even... Yeah, even this. Yeah, I just killed a 4-3 and... We're still dead. I, just, I don't think there's any way for me to stay alive. So this is what losing feels like? Sucks. All right, another race. Love the Mega Rains. Love those. And then Draven and Sprayfin are two of our best cards, so we're going to keep those. That extra mana with Sprayfin is important, too. So that, so basically here we can have turn two Mega Rain, turn three Draven, turn four we can have Sprayfin plus Mega Rain because of the Attune. Or we can play Fizz turn one. No. Because Fizz, Fizz will just trade with, like, they're playing one drop, so they'll just trade with whatever Mega Rain's going to kill anyway. I don't want that to happen. Trade our one mana card for their two mana card. The party has arrived. 
You get him, Draven. Make it rain. Kill two things. Mm. All right. Draven out. Here she goes. Yeah, this is. I think this is worth. So we're, we both we both have four cards. If you don't count the spinning axes in hand, we, we're both at four cards. Um, should I trade that? Yeah, I think we just trade. I think just if we can just keep trading one for one, we have like these spray fins. That I think are going to be better than what my opponent's doing. Want to trade? Nope, they do not want to trade. I'm not going to use spinning axes in trade, but they could have just traded normally if they wanted to. Like a fish in water. <laughs> yeah, I like how this has worked out so far for us. Blocking with the three two. Maybe they whiff. Still have never had an opponent whiff. Nope. Arachnoid horror. So they have another arachnoid horror in hand. I can block one arachnoid horror. I'll let the other one hit us. Ooh, that's gonna be good. I'm expecting the three two to challenge my golden narwhal. Why would the two one not attack? Doesn't scare me. All right, down to eight. Because we're gonna try to kill them this turn. We have six damage here. Another four with Brothers Bond. Another four with Decimate. That puts them down to three. I'll just do it like that. Just put them down to three with me having the decimate. Oh, I guess. Okay, good thing they're doing that. So I should be able to interact now. I need to play Spinning Axe. Because of Doom Beast. Doom Beast would keep them alive through decimate. So I, I need to play Spinning Axe. I was thinking of have Transfusion available for like, you know, a Noxion Fervor or something like that. Unspeakable Horror. I hope we get to have priority again now. Okay. Come down to zero. There we go. GG's. Three and two. Worked out. Okay, got our winning record. Looked a little uh, sketchy there in the middle. Had a couple of games. So uh, basically, after game two, uh, we just kind of checked our ranking. And then I, I accidentally joined with the wrong deck. I joined with Tarek Draven. So, you know, obviously I edited that out. Um, but then 
uh, our hand was awful with the Terror Draven deck, and we just got destroyed real fast, and uh, then it kind of lost the momentum that we had. We had five straight wins before that, and then rejoined with this and lost a couple uh, there right afterwards. But we came back there. That was a good win. Pretty impressed with this deck. This deck looks pretty strong. Um, you know, it's not it's not perfect. It's not going to be the best thing ever, but it, it definitely looked pretty strong, and it looked like it could get some good wins. Uh, be a nice, fast deck to uh, rank up with. And, you know, trying to find something to do with elusives. That was, like, the challenge here with this donation deck is do something with elusives. And, um, yeah, I think this this Fizz Draven worked out pretty well. Of Our, our elusives did good. All right, but that's it here for Draven Fizz. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. I'd appreciate that. And I'd also appreciate if you leave some comments. Let me know what you think of this deck or just anything else, um, whatever you're excited about in Runeterra. New cards, anything. I love seeing those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.